Hey guys, my name is Sidiac and welcome back to another episode of Prison Architects. Well, last episode, guys, we finally got up and running our very own little jeans factory. And uh, since then, the cotton plantation has been feeding it. And it turns out the jeans factory is slightly overpowered and makes us lots of cash money moolah. Um, I kind of got rid of all the tailors in there just so I could get enough cotton produced to pass the grant of producing 2,500 cotton. We're 88% of the way there, and they're starting to produce the cotton now, I believe. Uh, I planted down some more little plants and whatnot so we can get it done. So hopefully they get that done today. We also got the uh, the parole room set up in security room as well, which is really good. It's helping us towards handing or handling all the needs and stuff for the prison, which is pretty cool. So today then, I want to look to get towards, bare minimum, getting set up the library and the chapel. I'm going to get it done in this little area over here. We'll probably look at getting something else done as well, but I want to get those done, like, guaranteed. I want to get it set up over here. So we're getting kind of, like, a few more buildings down there. Then we'll probably eventually have another cell block over here. And do some other cool stuff over there and there and there. Oh, my goodness me. What's going on over here? It's going down over here, guys, with the gangs right now. They're crazy. Right, they're producing and picking the cotton right now. So that 88% should slowly start to increase. Once it's done, I'm going to rehire some tailors, <laughs> and hopefully we can uh, make even more money. So, we're going to kind of plan this out a little bit. Let's go to rooms here. So, ultimately, we've got a total of 39 there to use. So, if I did a, uh, let's go for a, let's see, a 15 by 15 room. And do a 15 by 15 room. And then we have this beautiful 15 by 11 that we can do something else and something pretty cool with. Now, to complete the grid, if you want to go in a grid form, I can do a 50, oh, it's by 11. But I can kind of bring in the cell block off that building, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, I actually didn't go all the way, did I? Damn it, Sadiac. You fool. All right, let's try that one again. 15 by 15. We got a 15 by 15, and that leaves us with a 15 by 12. Okay, not too bad. So that will give us a 15 by 40. Oh, do you know what? 15 by 40? And then can I do... 15 by 40? Where did I get 40, the 15 from? 10 by 10. Can I do another 10? I always forget, you got to take into account the other one. So that's a 10 there. It gives a two gap, which we can fill that through into another room. It comes off both sides. And I'm going to turn these four here into cleaning cupboards so we can have more workers cleaning up the prison. I think that would be pretty cool and pretty handy. Now, going based off that, I then don't need to have it go into the very edges like that, do I? I can actually have it go the whole hog. So if I did it like that, how have I done it up here? Oh, it cuts in slightly. Right, okay. So pretty much have it to there and get rid of that. Same goes here. So the, the two rooms either side are now slightly a little bit bigger. They're a little bit bigger. That can stay the same size. That's fine. Corridor going all the way around. Trying to enclose it in. And then we'll build another cell block off here eventually. Right, this could work. This could work. Right, let's plan all this down then. It's a lot to get in. 16,000 for foundations. Uh, how are we doing over here, by the way? We're up to 96% of all... 97%? 98 Oh, wait, there we do. We've just done it. We've just done that grant. Right, sweet, mate. So for the longest time, I can now hire back... The tailors. Right, we got six tailors, which would do all kinds of producing for us now. And just make us a lot of a lot of jeans that I can export and get a ton of money from, which would be quite cool. Right, everyone's going mental and screaming. Why? What's the, what's the issues right now? The big issues. We got seventy six. Oh, what's it doing? Seventy six prisoners have some serious complaints. Um, one hundred and twenty six of them are suppressed. That's the complaint. <laughs> That's from the uh, armed guard. 
Uh, 76 have serious complaints. 32 prisoners are shackled in their cells or in solitary. Well, don't do bad things. Uh, oh, a lot of them are angry because their gang member is currently being punished. So, gangs them. So, is there one in... Yeah, there's a gang leader in, uh, in solitary. We have no red gang members still. And the green gang is dropping in numbers. That's because they keep getting their, their boot is whooped by the blue gang. Which, you know, is what it is. Something that we haven't done in a while is a shakedown to find all contraband. Which I feel like we need to do at some point. Very heavily. Let's just do a shakedown now. It's going to be needed. Look how much stuff we found, like, we're going to find already. It's got to be done. It's heavily needed. Also, we've only got... Right, we've got 100 guards in the prison. 104 if you include the armed guards. But there we go. We need all the prison guards we can possibly get. Right, search everywhere. Find everything. Leave no stone left unturned. Uh, where is the intelligence now for sources? You see the demand there and supply. We're going to try and get rid of a lot of that. We're going to try our best to eradicate the demand and supply. It, it's, it's difficult to do that kind of stuff, but it's just got to do shakedown after shakedown. I won't do too many because they, they hate that kind of stuff. But that's gonna, it's going to cause a lot of prisoners to be put in solitary as well, this is. By finding the countryman. Like, policy-wise. Should we sort this out? I feel like we should. So, incidents. Murder, solitary, six hours. Intoxicated, solitary, three hours. Serious injury, four, fine. Um, attack the member of staff, solitary, can be six hours. Up their security level. Attack the prisoner, go lockdown for six hours. Escape attempt, lockdown, six hours. Destruction, we'll do lockdown four hours. We're going to be quite harsh. We're going to be quite harsh with this. Right, so murder. Right. You do any type of crime, you and your cell get searched. There we go. We, we, we're taking this very seriously. We're going to crack down on, on the offending rates, try and rehabilitate them with, like, positive attitude. And by a positive attitude, I mean we are not standing for anything. Right, now because you've got the tailors back then, we can get the uh, manufacture safety introduction induction should i say i guess an introduction and hopefully we can get two prisoners educated for it as well right good stuff good stuff H how are they doing over here are they still still building this yeah still building um object sent so jail doors, we can get on on both sides here. It doesn't really matter now because they can't escape. It's a jail door. Let me get all this in. And we'll also plan the wiring. I'm going to have Ron run through the middle as well. I think I might get the, another laundry room set up over here. I mean, it, it's not going to be doom. It's probably only handled this block over there, but... It would take the edge off the other two, wouldn't it? And give us more jobs. Might be a cool thing to do. Right. Always open. Always open. And then, of course, we'll demolish them two walls there. It still hasn't been built. It says it requires an entrance. Oh, it's, it's on the wall, isn't it? I forgot about that. It should get placed in when we demolish these walls. There we go. Whoo! It's a big room. It's a very big room. Right. Materials. Where's the wall? There it is. Okay then, so let's try and get all this in. Oh, 
Oh, that's annoying how it's done that. There. <laughs> no wonder the, wall, um, the room didn't auto-build on placing those doors. Right, so let's demolish those additional walls it created. There we go. Uh, objects then. Luckless door. One there, one there. Right, and to finish up. Now, all doors are in there. I kind of got rid of that little bit of wall here. Right, we'll have door there, door there. I'll place a few doors. I want these rooms to be like easy, easily accessible. So there we go. Okay, kind of happy with that. Let's designate these rooms then. That's where I want them to be. Let's go back into play then. So, uh, we're going to want a library. We're also going to want a chapel here. No, 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 noise. I'm going to turn this one into the laundry room because it's got the access to go through the back there to like the cell block that we'll eventually have down here. So, turn this into a laundry room. Now, cleaning cupboards. Let's see what we've got here. Where's the cleaning cupboard? There we go. So we'll designate this one. And that one to be in a cleaning cupboard. Can I get away with anything else for these two rooms? What would be perfect? What do we have already that we could also maximize from? Maori more store. Mm, nah. Do you know what? I'll leave them free for now because you never know what we're going to want to do with them. So let's get some concrete tiles in. Drop all those in. Why is there not a wall here? Or here? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, okay, so... Cleaning cupboard gets the nice little white tiles. Same for the laundry room. Oh, got to get these little spots out here done as well. And then library and chapel. We'll go for the dark wood flooring. So I found that quite nice and we've done it in the uh, security room. Like that. And then just for these two rooms here. Not exactly sure what to do with them. So just for now, we'll place down some concrete tiles. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So we're going to need water over here for the laundry room. So we'll put the pipe in there. Just run it through. And let them get that done. There's quite a bit for them to get actually now physically placed in. But that's going to be pretty dope once we get it all in. Um, right. 7,000 on exports. Are you for real? What, 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 what in the world did we just export? I bet it was a load of jeans, right? Probably. <laughs> oh, you got to love the uh, little jean factory. And that's not the only... We, there's so many more factories and other like stuff we can get set up for work-wise to earn money from. It's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. Right, let them continue. Let them continue to build all that. Let's check out the rest of the prison. So, once we got all that in, we can then eventually build another cell block. And I'm, I, I want you guys to have a little bit of an input on this. I kind of created a semi-luxurious cell block up here with the yellow ones. Obviously, because each of these rooms has like you know, a desk in, bookshelf, TV, radio, toilet sink, uh, um, toilet shower, sorry, and all that. I'm thinking, what do you reckon? Should I make it this a very, very tight knit community? Like when I say tight knit, like tiny cells, nothing in them, more basic than the most basic ones that we currently got. Make a really horrible section of the prison. Should I do something like that, guys? Let me know in the comment section down below. We just had a nice little big riot there. They, they're going, they're going big. Is it the blue gang doing that then? Oh, intelligence. No, blue and green. All fighting over that one little common room there. There's, there's won't give up, will they? They need to learn not to fight the guards and just take it peacefully. 
That's the only way they're going to get it. Right, objects then. Let's get back into this then. So we need a personal sink for both these rooms. So where's the personal sink? Haha. -ha. One there. One there. We also need a personal sink in here too. There we go. So let's do the laundry room first then. Beautiful. Um, we also need all laundry baskets. I was trying to think then, what do we need in here? Uh, ironing boards. And that's about it, right? Yeah. We've all got the power stuff uh, momentarily. So, library then. We need a library shelf and a sorting desk. So, let's go for some sorting desks first. So, one, two... Three, four. And we'll do some beautiful shelves in the library. Like that. And why don't we do like a nice little table and chairs, like if they want to choose to sit down and read? That would be too big. Can we get like a smaller table? Yeah, let's just search it. Uh, table. We, we've got so many different types of tables. Can we just not have like a small table? Nah, we'll just have to go for this, aren't we? Chairs. Nice little section there. It's not too bad as a little library. And then we have the chapel over here too. So the chapel requires an altar, pews, and praying mat. So the altar up here, where you can get married. <laughs> uh, pews kind of like replicate a church. They call them like multi-religion rooms now, don't they? Is that the correct term for them? Multi-prayer room. I like that. It's quite a cool little room, there, isn't it? And that's going to satisfy quite a few different needs. There. Not only just laundry for, like, you know, logistics wise, but the library and the chapel are going to satisfy dramatically um, needs in the prison. And those needs are spirituality and literacy. Among other ones, obviously, but like the main two. All right, sweet mate. Okay, let me get back in then. Keep it going, keep it going. We'll fast forward until we can get it all done. And uh, let's go to logistics, prison, labor. There we go. Uh, 16 jobs in there. 37 jobs in here. So it requires foundation education program. Is that what it said? Do we have the education programs running? Oh, spiritual guidance. We'll get that one. Um, yeah, we must have it running then. Yeah, we do. There's a general education. There's a foundation. Sweet, mate. Alright, cool. Okay, so logistics, laundry distribution, that's now satisfying that cell. So it eased up that one, which is good. Room quality, yeah. <laughs> um, wow. Food distribution, looking all good. Prison labour, every room that could they possibly could work in, they could work in, which is good. How are we doing over here? You got the rest of the stuff in yet?
getting there. They're getting there. It'd be interesting to see, obviously, when they start using it in, like, you know, when they got like proper free time and stuff like that, like to get stuff. Right, he's coming now to sort things out, so he's working. Right, there's one more thing to get in here. Oh, no, two more things, sorry. Nope. Definitely one more thing. <laughs> it's another desk. How far do I have from doing this? Ah, oh, here he is now. He, he, he's just... He's tired. He's just turned up. There we go. So they're all in then. We've got two rooms here to use. Not quite sure what we're going to do with them. But they're there anyway. So it's still quite nicely for building and extending the cell block. Uh, we'll do that next episode. That'll be quite nice to get added in. So we won't see any of the needs change just yet until they start physically using that room, which is getting quite late. So you might see them use it tomorrow. But it's pretty dope now that they have the opportunity and the ability to do that. Right. Okay, so how is everything going? So the valuation of the prison is now 1.3 million. It's got to be the, the exports that are really up in the price of it. I say exports, only 52,000. I mean, I say only 52,000. It's still a lot, isn't it? We've got 300,000 in the bank. It's all down to this bad boy up here. Damn, son. Uh, is there any grants I can complete for what I've just done? Oh, I didn't do this one. I, I keep forgetting. Every time I've got to build a laundry, I need to do the laundry grants. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Um, beautiful garden. Hire seven garden gardeners. Have I not hired seven gardeners? Hold on. I mean, we've got one. There we go. We've got seven gardeners now to keep everything nice and fresh. Um, tool cleaner. Remove the supply of stolen tools. Remove the supply of stolen weapons. We could we can handle that with another shakedown. So sources. Just keep doing shakedowns until we found everything. That's one of the best ways to do it. They're not going to like the shakedowns. But it's needed. Oh, we've got a nice little Polaroid there. Uh, we've also got... A tunnel being... Well, tunnel. Try to be built. So, I mean, we've not long just done a shakedown, and now we're finding even more stuff. Look at that. The, the demands have now dropped. We could eradicate them with like another shakedown or two. Uh, do we have any informatives then? So, we've got a potential CI here, which could we turn him into a snitch? Yeah, recruit informative. Informant. Right, so we got a snitch there. Snitch there. Right, we've got three snitches, and they'll find out a lot of stuff in the prison for us. But, if any prisoners find out they are a snitch, then they're going to kill them. <laughs> so we've just, we've just, you know, we just made them be marked men. Right, sources still. Right, we've almost searched everything. Last few, there's like two more places left to search. Are they going to get them? Where are these two places? Okay, one, no, yeah, still two places left to search. Where are these two extra places? At? There we go. So what is the supply chain now then? Okay, we're going to do it again all over and let's see what we find this time we're trying our hardest to eliminate the the, the total supply i just wonder if we're going to find anything this time 
We've got to find something because we haven't removed the supply. And it doesn't mean remove stuff like the workshop where you get your tools and stuff. It just means there's still contraband in the prison that we just haven't found yet. And it's not always guaranteed to find it. Oh, there we go. We found something. Nice. We found a shank. Oh, we found some shears, guys. It's quite difficult to get rid of this supply. Trying our best, though. Um, wow, we're only going to find two at this time. They've hidden them well. <laughs> That's all I can say. They've hidden that stuff very well. Right, fine. Fair enough, guys. Fair enough. It's going to take a while to try and clear that then, isn't it? Right. Regime. I feel like we're going to give them... A little bit more free time and stuff, and yard time. I'll right, give them all a little bit of free time as well. At the end of the day. Maybe they can do some religious stuff or get some bucks and stuff like that. They'll really like that. That will sort them boys out. So why is the uh, the needs like these days? Family's getting lower and lower. I'm noticing that. Also, we need to look at the warmth. Let's have a look at the warmth. We haven't done that in a while. Right, temperature in the prison. So it's just up here. We need to get this place down here warm as well, don't we? Oh, there's a... Uh, tunnel just here. Right, let's look at that then. Utilities, objects. We need some rads, some radiators. Oh, this is why I didn't get anything, Kim, because we've got the... Uh, they're, the prisoners of... What's it called? We need to evict them. The gangs. Right, evict. 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 Is that all flashing? Yeah, we're going to try and evict them all now. Okay, object sent. So, radiators. Where is it? So, we're going to drop some radiators down in various spots. And that will then, we'll then, like, use it to kind of heat various places up. So, where do I place them up here, by the way? We did some in the corridors, didn't we? So we did one there, one there, one there. I'll squeeze in one there. And then we need to get the water boilers down. So we'll have a boiler there, a boiler there. We've got a boiler just there, so hopefully it will stretch that far. We just gotta hope. And then again, I can have it stretched up to here as well. So we'll get those in. And then we'll see what's what. So he's getting another boiler in. Yeah, I, just outside here is perfect. Right, so let's get that in then. Um, let's look at the, the gangs. Have they evicted anybody yet? They haven't evicted anybody just yet. Well, we'll stop those flashing. Let them focus on like one eviction at a time. Let me see if we can get the temperature up in the prison as well. Then. So hopefully we can keep the warm on this side. I completely forgot about the temperature stuff. I'm not even going to lie to you. Kind of like just goes past your mind, doesn't it? How two prisoners pass the manufacture induction program? Why are they still not passed it? There's people working in there. Manufacture induction. Just why are they not getting it done? Nobody's even bothering. It's not like they haven't even done. 
a class for it yet. We also don't have a lawyer. What's going on here? There we go. Just realized we didn't even have a, lo a lawyer in the prison. Well, that's not good, is it? Um, okay, logistics then. Temperature. So it's starting to get warm now. It's going to warm up these various rooms. Um, we need to hook that radiator up there. And that one. Right, does the water spread that far? It actually does. Okay. Hot water pipes. So, may I go across? We have to make it go round for now. But that'll be interesting to see if that hooks up. I want to know when the guards are going to evict them. Unless they've done it already. Alright, evict these ones in here. Hopefully they can evict soon. Right, uh, in, no, no, logistics, temperature. So this is slowly getting warm. It's 15 degrees in that in these areas, which is completely fine. A little bit cold down here, 7 degrees. Nice and toasty. Where's the hottest place? The barber shop, 24 degrees. You're sweating in there, aren't you? You're definitely sweating in there. <laughs> um, right. So I take it the hot water doesn't flow that far? Yeah, it stops there. Okay. Is there anywhere I could place it? keep people warm May Ooh, in the laundry room could be a good one let's drop it there but of course it's going to need water All right let's keep it like that try and get a little bit of warmth there and then we've kind of like added in more needs how much warm is it in well when, when this this one gets placed in you filter some, you know, warmth through. So just wait for it to get in. Um, intelligence gang still there? Yes. When are they going to get rid of them? When? Right. Just wait for that radiator to get some warmth. Why is it not? Right, temperature's ready. All right, he's placing it down now. All right, it's got some warmth then. It will slowly start to warm up. It will slowly treacle in. So it's four degrees Celsius at, at the coldest point in the cell. Or well, three if you go by the front door. One if you go by the very of the front of the door. Uh, it's slowly coming in, slowly going to warm it up. As you can see now, it's filtering through. Uh, until we have the ability to build in here, I can't place any more radiators in just yet. We should really get one in the security room over here, because these guys are going to be so cold, and I'm being so mean right now. There we go, utilities. And it's very, fairly easy to get give them one as well. There we go. Are they evicted them yet? Come on. Please tell me you've evicted them. No. How about we go for a manual eviction? Deployment. Right. If I close that off. And intelligence. Gangs. We're going for the manual approach. It takes a while though, doesn't it? You can see it's slowly going down. It'll take a while, but they should manually be evicted. And that's another thing they're going to fight back over again. <laughs> you gotta love it. 
You gotta love it. Right. Anybody gonna use these rooms? I got these beautiful rooms in. Nobody wants to use... I mean, we got books and stuff on the shelf, so it is being used. It's been worked in. Consuela's going on a mad one cleaning. Right, gangs, how far is that circle? It's almost halfway. We're getting there. Can I speed up the process? I don't know if that speeds up the process. But we're about to find out. Right, logistics. No, intelligence, sorry. Gangs. Uh, I don't know if it does speed up the process. We just gotta wait. Gotta wait. All I'm doing, I, I mean, they should just let me evict them. Just so I can point some radiators to keep them warm in the winter. At its coldest point now by the front door, it's zero, but like inside the building, it's nine. We could get it so much warmer if they just let me goddamn place in radiators. Uh, reports then for the needs. Warmth is fine. Spirituality, I can't even say it, and um, literacy is fairly high considering I've got those rooms in. Where's the regime at that? So it's currently free time. It's probably the amount of, like, everyone's got a job though, haven't they, at this point? Oh no, we've got some people here coming in to worship. So, so spirituality needs is, oh yeah, it's dipping quite a bit. Oh, we found a tunnel as well. So that's quite cool then, we just watched that dip down. Where's that tunnel been found? Over here. Right, there we go. Just drag the whole thing in case there's more tunnels. Freedom is being dropped as well. What's the freedom for anyway? Um, playing, touching a tree. Oh, trees. Should we get some trees in? Where's trees? All right, this this increases their freedom apparently. We got a tree there. Drop a tree here and here. Drop some fire trees, guys. I wonder how that changed. Well, how if that's? I mean, freedom's low anyway. But adding in trees is gonna make it even more beautiful. Right? Come on, you, you're telling me now? Have they done this? They're close. They're close to the eviction. Damn, man! It takes a lot to evict them, doesn't it? So let's check out the programs that we've currently not taken advantage of. So, visitor service. Led, uh, what's this here? Prisoners' families have more or less demands uh, for legal advice. You'll continue to go da, da, da. Let them go to visitation rooms, services, visitors. Uh, for every four groups of visitors, you'll go to Ooh, okay, we'll do that. Get a nice little bonus for every four groups. Right, this stuff is required with certain rooms, so I can't really do much of that. So, we pretty much got every kind of program we can have at the moment that would be functional. Which is good. Uh, we've got people working now in the library. Sorting out all the books and stuff to put on the shelves. No, 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 noise. So we've got the trees now planted. They'll grow over time.
Right, come on. Now it's time you evicted him. <gasps> so close. So close. I'm getting ready to drop in some hot rads. We're getting so close to the edge now of actually doing it. It is unreal. Come on. It feels like forever we've waited for this. It feels like such a long time. And they're about to, Oh, they're coming in to try and take it over at the very last minute. It ain't happening, mate. It ain't happening. We've got this. This is ours. Get out of here. All right, drop some hot rads. So, pipe in. Right, away from to get that in before we remove the deployment. So come on workers, do your best. All right, one more pipe. Is that all done? Yes, okay. So. Get rid of all of those. Put the arm guard back on there. And then back to normal we go. So now then, we should have the temperature start to rise dramatically and even go all the way up to here too. Hot diggity damn. <laughs> yeah, it's currently 10 degrees. In the cold parts. Just filters through nicely and goes up. Keeps everybody toasty. I'm super impressed. Okay. So... I think this is where we're going to end it for today, guys. We've got quite a few things added in. We've also got a big, big tunnel that we need to remove over here. Uh, so we've got the, the kind of chapel now all in. The library all in. Two brand new cleaning rooms, which cleans up the prison a lot more. We've got some radiators in as well. Got a few programs set up. Progressing quite nicely. I think next episode then, as we're closing in on nearly half a million smackaroonies, we're going to build a brand new cell block and try and accept more prisoners in the next episode. So if you're hyped for that, make sure you smash the like button down below. And until next time, I'll see you all soon. So, good. Bye.